Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a drink, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Every time there is a fresh economy in Path of Exile, whether this be a new challenge league, or whether it be a player run event like the Gauntlet, every player is faced with the question of where they're going to get their first six link from. A popular choice historically has been target farming the divination card Humility in order to get themselves a Tabula Rasa. Turn in nine copies of Humility, you get yourself a Tabula, and there you go, it's the worst six link you can get, but it's a six link, and you can always use it. However, this is something that I think should be a thing of the past. People do still target farm humility, but I think it's a mistake now. The reason for this is something that you can get if you have a look at some of the work that's been done in reverse engineering drop tables for divination cards. The way this has been done, and I'll put a link to the extensive, extensive write-up of this methodology by player Poor Fishwife down in the description below, is that Poor Fishwife has looked at turn-ins of literally hundreds of thousands of stack decks, and from this, Poor Fishwife has been able to reverse engineer the formula of how stack deck outcomes relate to drops of divination cards when you're just mapping. And then she's been able to put together tables of drop rates for divination cards, both in patch 3.18 and patch 3.20. Once more, all that information will be linked down in the description below, as well as this spreadsheet that I put together, which is a comparison of the two drop rates. But the thing that's probably most important to this video is that Poor Fishwife concluded the drop rate of Humility has been nerfed from approximately 12,500 back in patch 3.18 to approximately 5,000 now. What this means is that target farming Humility is going to take two and a half times as long as it used to take back in patch 3.18. And this is not something that I'm going to recommend people do anymore. So what divination cards do I recommend that you target as alternatives to Humility now? Now note that some of these may not apply to your specific build, but if you're playing a bow build, you've got four options. If you're playing a non-bow build, as I say it, you've got two, one of which is better than the other. So you have Imperial Legacy as the first choice for a bow build only. This has a drop weight of about 10,300, so about twice as common as Humility. It's going to give you a six-linked Imperial Bow, which is a very high item level bow. This is something that will then take about as much effort to self-compile a set of as Humility does, because the set size is larger, but the outcome will be quite a lot better. So this is your first option if you want to go with a bow. That said, don't go with Imperial Legacy if your bow build requires a lot of non-green sockets because it is very hard to chrome an Imperial bow to get non-green sockets on it. And the other one is the Porcupine. Now this is a much rarer card at a drop weight of 3700, but you only need six of them. And this means that it is actually slightly easier to compile a set of than either Imperial Legacy or Humility. Now with the Porcupine, you'll get a short bow, which is six linked and item level 50. Being item level 50 is somewhat constraining for some applications, but there are plenty of builds that this is an absolutely fine setup for. If you're playing one of those, you'll know it, and Porcupine is going to be your single best choice for divination cards to farm. So those are the two ones that only apply if you're a bow wielding character. Next we have the Chains That Bind and the Dapper Prodigy. Now these differ in that the Dapper Prodigy is both rarer and better. The Dapper Prodigy is a set of six cards, and the Chains That Bind is a set of 11. What this means is that it's about twice as much work to compile a set of Dapper Prodigy cards. Additionally, Dapper Prodigy only drops from monsters that drop item level 80 or above loot, which is every monster in tier 13 and higher maps, magic and above monsters in tier 12 maps, and rare and unique monsters in tier 11 maps. So you're going to need to be in higher tiers if you want to target farm Dapper Prodigy. Chains of Bind is probably the right balance between frequency of drops and the power of the item that you get. This will give you a six link chess piece that will have an item level equal to whichever is lower, 80 or your character's level. This agency over item level you get with Chains That Bind can be quite useful. If you get something like an Astral Plate or a Val Regalia, it's very hard to chrome it into wildly different colors to the ones that relate to its main attribute. So for a Val Regalia, it's very hard to get non-blue sockets in any quantities on that item. However, if you turn in a low level base instead, you'll find that it is very easy to chrome it into whatever combination of colors you want. This is a balancing act. Would you prefer a better item that requires more chromatic orbs, or would you prefer a worse item that requires less chromatic orbs? In any case, it's likely going to be better than Tabula Rasa. So that's an option with Chains That Bind, but even if you turn it in at a higher level, you'll be able to chrome most outcomes that you get. And if you get one that is completely useless to you, at least in a trade league, you'll be able to trade it to another player and potentially get something good from them. On the flip side, the Dapper Prodigy will bias towards higher level bases, which are stronger but can be harder to chrome. Now there are a number of other divination cards that reward specific six link items. 
I've generally not recommended these because they tend to be quite a bit worse. You'll see here that the Dark Mage, Celestial Justicar, and Ethereal are quite a lot rarer than any of the cards that I mentioned. That said, if you're in Trade League, by all means pick up some of these rarer sets, and also things like the Sacrifice can be really good as well, although that is definitely not something you'll ever self-compile in Solo Self-Found. Anyways, hopefully this has been useful to you and has avoided you going down the trap of target farming a set of humility now that the Chains That Bind is more common and better. May your Valorbs have interesting results.